What's going on guys? It's here Eddie. And before I start, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And on today's video, I'm going to be making a banana pudding dessert. So, let's begin. This is the glass tray that I'm going to use to make the banana pudding. And these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make the banana pudding dessert. Bananas. The pudding that I have to mix to make the, the pudding. The vanilla wafers or banana wafer cookies that I'm going to use for the banana pudding dessert. I'm going to be using milk, a 2% milk. And the cup to measure the milk because I'm supposed to use two cups and this is the bowl that I'm gonna use to mix the banana pudding all right so let's start I'm gonna remove that glass tray out of the way and bring this big bowl to mix the pudding. All right. So I'm going to use the vanilla jello sugar free mix pudding. So I'm going to open it up. This is what the package looks like. So, I'm gonna open it. Now I'm going to use the milk That's what the mix looks like I'm going to put a cup There we go. Now I'm going to stir it. That's what it looks like.
have to stir it because you can see there's a bunch of balls of mix so I have to get rid of all of that That's what it looks like. And yes, I washed everything. Including my, I washed my hands, I washed bowls before I even started. So, this is what it looks like right here. Tastes real good. <laughs> Yummy. Mmm. Tastes real good. I was mixing the banana pudding with the spoons. I didn't like the way it mixed the banana pudding because it has a lot of like mixed balls in there as you can see and it's not it's not healthy for the body. So what I'm going to use is this right here. The mixture Yes, this is what I'm going to use now, the mixture to make the banana pudding mix be well mixed. So now let's try it to see how it comes out. Mmm, so good. Now, it looks way better. There's no mix balls there.
Now, as you can see, the banana pudding, it's way better. There's no mixed balls. So, oh, it looks so good. Look at that. Ooh. This looks delicious. And I haven't made the banana dessert yet. Yep. But this looks so good. No balls. So this mixture did a great job. So as you can see, the mixture was way better, way faster at mixing the banana pudding. And I used this mixture right here, and this is the name of the brand. And it works perfectly well. Now, let's try it. Mmm. So good. <laughs> it's real good. Yummy. Mm. Oh, banana pudding is so good. Yummy. Mm. All right. Let's continue. So this is the way it looks like now. Way better. So instead of using a spoon to mix the banana pudding, use the mixture. Use this right here. Now I'm going to remove this banana pudding out of the way and I'm going to use this glass tray now to make the banana pudding dessert. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of the pudding right here in the tray. Just like that. Now I'm gonna Cut pieces of banana. This banana is so small. I got it at Publix. They're real small.
what I'm doing is covering the whole area inside on top of the pudding with slices of bananas. So this is what it looks like. Now, what I'm gonna do, the next step is cover the top with wafer cookies. I'm going to cover the whole area inside with wafer cookies. So that's what it looks like right now. And then I'm going to add another layer of pudding on the top. I use a small spoon to spread the pudding all over the top area and cover the whole thing up. That's what it looks like. Now, once again, I'm going to cut another banana and put the banana slices once again on top. This is the second layer. Does it look good? I think it looks delicious. This is what it looks like now. As I said, this is the second layer. Now, once again, I'm going to put more cookies on the second layer. My hands are washed. This is 
what it looks like now on the second layer. Now, once again, I'm gonna put another layer of pudding right on the top. Really nothing left. Now I'm gonna use this spoon right here, once again, to cover all the area on top with pudding. This is what it looks like now. Don't it look good? <laughs> now I'm gonna use another banana to cover, which is the last layer. And once again, I'm going to cover it Now this is what the banana pudding dessert looks like after being finished. This is what it looks like after being done. You can go ahead and eat it or you can refrigerate it. Now this is what my banana pudding dessert looks like. And now I am going to try my banana pudding dessert that I just made. Mmm. Look, it looks so delicious. Mmm. Banana pudding dessert. Mmm. Mmm. It's not too sugary, but it tastes real good. It does have sugar. It tastes great. It tastes so good. Want some? I suggest for you to make yourself some because it's so good. It's a real good dessert. Mmm. The cookies, those wafers are so good with that banana pudding. Mmm. Look at that. Looks so good. Thumbs up. This is it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.